Quad has released Opus 4.1 as of a couple hours ago. This is August the 5th, 2025. Here's the article. It's pretty straightforward and to the point. This is an upgrade, an all-out upgrade from Opus 4 on agentic tasks, real-world coding, real-world coding. It's a hard uh, word combo for some reason. Ooh. And reasoning. We plan to release substantially larger improvements to all our models in the coming weeks. So... We've got more where this came from coming soon, reportedly. 4.1 available to paid users and in Claude code, also in the API, Amazon Bedrock, and Google Cloud Vertex AI. Okay, pricing is the same as Opus 4. So this just replaces Opus 4. We have stepped it up a little bit. Here's the benchmarks. They're always going to be the best on whatever the latest model is, and this is no different. So here's where it outperforms everything that came before it according to these benchmarks. Now, what did this actually look like? Well, you can watch me go through the whole process of building an indie game site just from a simple prompt here coming up, but I'll just show you what it came up with, uh, skipping straight to the outcome or the output. This is the output from Claude Code. And what I did was I modeled it. I had it, had it model after the Overwatch 2 uh, site, just the home page here, uh, just the main page. And so it created this, it filled in, I didn't give it anything like content wise, um, it just filled in some uh, generic content here, which you can replace in the HTML file. It also, as did the other models, produced a CSS file with some root colors at the top where you can change the uh, colors quite easily, which was pretty handy. And I've already messed them up here so they don't quite go together as you can see, but all in all, very pleasing. It did not actually get this section correct. So on the Overwatch site, the first section is text. It's kind of like a, a, a hero section. You get text on the left, and then you've got over here a video on the right. And um, for whatever reason, it didn't do that correctly. It's got this game features section and then a heroes section. So while it is by far the better looking of the three examples, I feel like it did uh, for some reason stumble here probably because as you'll see in just a minute as I go through the prompts and what I actually did to build it, probably because I didn't give it any information. It just said here, model it off of this page. So if I had engineered the prompt a little bit, we could have gotten it to adhere to the actual structure. And as you can see from this is ChatGPT's, um, it adhered to the structure a little bit better uh, but it's messy. So it didn't have any type of placeholder. It or it had only placeholder data, rather. It didn't try to fill in anything like on here where we've got some stuff moving in the background, um, kind of out of the gate, more pleasing to look at. We got some gradient effects subtly going in the background too. Um, so ChatGPT's version in comparison was actually structurally more accurate to what I had given it, but definitely needs a lot more work to get it up to speed in terms of something usable. I mean, you could launch this almost right now, and even though the information is just placeholder information, it looks great. Uh, these little uh, sections up here in the navigation bar do go to the correct sections also. And let's see if ChatGPT, yeah. So thankfully it does the same. And then finally in Gemini, here is what Gemini gave us. Also pretty good in terms of structure. Uh, of all of them, I mean, both of these are more bland. There's no no real style going on here. It's just the structure that it got down right, which I was kind of surprised. Even with just a prompt uh, that was short and a screenshot that was uh, detailed, I figured it would have given me a little bit more than this. So anyhow, here it is. Uh, coming up right now is the whole process of me building this. And I hope that if this is useful for you, you will consider subscribing to the channel. At least give me the old thumbs up and uh, drop a comment down there. What do you use Claude for? Are you using it for like replicating websites? Are you using it for some serious Python data analysis stuff? Are you using it to ask it for content generation? I mean, are you doing this for real world uh, business applications or is this just another drop in the bucket for you? Let me know. I'm interested to hear from you. Uh, okay, here's the full breakdown video of how I built this. I'm in here using it right now, and all we are doing is creating a website, single page, from the attached website image. So I went over here to Overwatch 2, basic site, 
Slick looks good. I'm developing a site, redoing a site for a buddy of mine for his upcoming indie game, and we just want a nice slick page. So if you're in the dev tools, you can press, well, press F12 to get to those, but then you can go Control Shift P, type in screenshot, and you can capture a full-sized screenshot. Now, a word of warning, they're big. So they download a PNG file to my desktop. It was like 8.9 megabytes. So I had to reduce the size to be able to upload it here to Claude. Claude did not like an attachment that was almost nine megabytes large. But as soon as I dropped it in, it has started working with great confidence and enthusiasm, which are two things I personally lack a lot of time. So I'm thankful for old Claude helping me out, getting my back. It is going through a ton of styling so far. It hasn't even gotten to the structure of the page. We're going to let it do its thing. And again, just, you know, we are using this new Claude Opus 4.1. So we'll let it do its thing and we'll come back here in just a moment. Okay, now we've just finished the part where it's done the CSS styling and it's moved on to what will probably be shorter, the actual hero section content. Now it is going to fill in, I, you know, I probably could have given it some information about the game instead of just letting it do its own thing, but it's gonna fill in its own stuff here and it looks like it's using, okay, it's making stuff up, Neon Uprising, a future worth fighting for. So it's making up a game um, just to get some content in here. It's got a characters section with character cards. It's got a news section, which I probably won't even use that because we're not gonna have any blog um, before it shows me that I wanna, well, we'll just see what it looks like. And now it's opening it up and, oh, this response paused because Claude reached its max length for the message. Hit continue to nudge Claude along. So this is the first prompt in Claude that I've done today and it hit the max length. I'm on the pro plan. Uh, I'm paying 20 bucks a month. I'm not on the super big plans, but still, come on. We're just making a website here. Is that so much to ask? It is pretty cool that it's doing this. Um, news section, so it's continuing along here. Uh, one thing I dislike about Claude, I'll have to check if ChatGPT is like this or not. You can't scroll up while it's doing this in the artifact. You know what? Let's go over here to ChatGPT. Let's do the same thing and let's see what it does. So I'll keep this open right here, the upgrade article about Claude Opus 4.1. We'll come back to that in a moment. All right, here's what we got. Neon Uprising, a future worth fighting for. All right, so we got some graphics in the background. That's that's cute. Uh, little cards here for uh, gameplay stuff. Little cards here for the heroes. That's cool, latest news. So we've got some uh, pretty well styled cards, same sections as Overwatch 2. You know, it, it didn't really didn't really nail exactly the things that I wanted it to. For instance, this section right here, we've got text on the left and video on the right. I was kind of hoping for a one-to-one. -one. Let's, uh, let's come back over here. Let's do the same deal in ChatGPT. I'm gonna make a website and I'm gonna, oh, didn't give it the screenshot. Please model each section exactly like this site. All right, over here in uh, ChatGPT, we are in a Python file. Let's go ahead and open up um, Gemini Studio, Google AI Studio, there it is. Model it exactly like the sections in the screenshot. All right, let's see what Google AI Studio does running Gemini 2.5 Pro. So far, I mean, so far the end result here is Definitely very good in Claude. So this is good. Um, recreate these sections so they are a one-to-one -one match. Get the structure. See what it does to correct all that. I'm a little concerned that this is in a Python shell for some reason here. Um, hopefully that opens a new artifact. And meanwhile, we've got Gemini AI Studio down here creating a big old HTML file. I don't see any styling here, so that's interesting. 
So it does have uh, an href to a styles CSS file, which I presume it will be calling or creating here in a momento. Let's change this to dark so we don't blind ourselves. Uh, looks like we got our sections there and here's the CSS file. Uh, 83, 84 seconds in. Seems to be going faster in Gemini, but hey, we'll see what the actual output looks like here in a minute. Now we're in ChatGPT and it's given us a zip file. All right, I don't know what's going on here. Extract, I mean, I wanted this in a artifact. Let's see what this looks like. And we'll take a look-see. We got a script, we got a CSS file. We've got placeholders for all of these things for our assets. Uh, okay, so this is interesting. This is this is Google's take on things. We got these placeholders. Um, this is actually a better job of following the structure so far. Oh, check it out! And it actually goes. It actually links this video. That's great. That's great. Does it do it on the background? No. All right, so we got news cards. Yeah, so it's a little bit more serious. Let's see what's going on here. Wait, no, no, no. This was not Google. This was ChatGPT's. Um, so a little bit more serious. It actually does, this nav bar does correctly go to the proper sections, which is cool. And Gemini is still working. Or is it? No, we're done. All right, so let's download these. Let's create a new folder, game, paste those in here, open in terminal, and go live. All right, so Gemini did not do a good job. <laughs> Let's see what the problem is. Something's wrong here. Style, okay, yeah, so we need to rename this file. The style file is completely wrong. Now we got it. So now we've got some style linked up here. And hey, this does a great job also of at least following the structure. Now let's go back to Opus 4.1. All right, so we got game features. It still does not have the correct structure. So it, it deviated from what I gave it in the screenshot. But of all of them, it is the more polished looking deal. Thank you